Loving Maniacs is your boy Brad Lasseter, aka Big Brad the Rock, and this is another video of the movies I bought, October 2016 edition, and pretty much been a year since I started this series of videos, so I guess happy anniversary to myself. <laughs> now for the month of October, I really only bought one new movie, and then everything else is just old. And the only reason I bought one new movie this year, this month, because one of them I really liked, everything else that came out, came out on Blu-ray this month, I didn't really care to get like Independence Day Resurgence. I had the first movie on Blu-ray but the second one I didn't like too much and I don't think I'm motivated enough to pop it in every now and then. I don't know why I'm a completist but you know there are some exceptions and I think Independence Day is one of those rare occasions where I'm just not a completist. Maybe if they make a third one and the, the third one kicks ass I might go back and buy it again but as of right now I'm fine with just having the first one. And I know Ghostbusters came out this month but uh, like I like Ghostbusters and I've never seen the second one, but I do like the first movie, and but not enough to own it on Blu-ray and pop it in every now and then. But you know, so if I don't have the original movies, what makes me think I'm gonna buy the newest Ghostbusters movie on Blu-ray? So I like, guess it's, it's just one of those things, you know. I gotta, you know, I gotta pick and choose what I want to buy and take a little bit more for myself. But but the one new movie I bought this month was X-Men Apocalypse. Yeah, I know this movie has some problems, but I still enjoyed it overall, and I think it's pretty okay to add to the first class trilogies of X-Men movies so you know I did I did like Oscar I success um, Apocalypse and everyone is pretty did okay in this film except for Jen Lawn she was just funny into this movie and I got this copy from um, Target it's a Target exclusive where it's pretty much just like a yearbook at Xavier School for the Gifted <laughs> which is pretty cool so yeah but otherwise I did pop this movie a couple of times and I still like it so and yeah, that's it for the newest movies. I bought just one movie and everything else is pretty old. And I bought some movies that are pretty horror because, you know, it is October. It's Halloween season. So I bought a couple of horror movies and some mo some other movies outside of horror. And two Disney movies, mainly two straight to DVD movies. First up, I have never seen the original Transformers animated movie. And they had it at Target on Steelbook. And I went and bought it. And it's pretty enjoyable. Like, does it hold up in some s standards? Probably, yeah, but it's a pretty just entertaining kids animated film, and yeah, so. But otherwise, I have this to add to my Transformers collection, so, yeah. A movie that I have not seen in a long time, it probably need to pop it in at some point just to see if I like it now as an, as an adult, because I've really only seen this movie once, and that is V for Vendetta. I've, everyone praises this movie and champions it and lo lo loves it a lot, so, yeah, I had, but I did like it when I first saw it back in the day, but I thought I would just buy it just to have it. And I'll probably pop it in, and you might, I might like it, but we'll see. This next movie I bought, I just bought purely just for nostalgic reasons, and I know, and I remember I watched this as a kid, and I liked it, but watching it now it definitely does not hold up, and it's just not that great of a movie. But again, I just have it for nostalgic reasons, and I do like Michael Jai White in the movie, in Charlie Boots, I'm playing a clown, but yeah, so Spawn, if you, if you didn't figure it out, yeah, so. A movie that I actually watched on Halloween night because I watched it for the first time a couple of years ago and I like it and I'm just, just the American Werewolf in London, just the transformation scene in this movie alone, it just has me like, it's baffling that that looks more realistic with practical effects than any CGI bullshit that they show down our throats nowadays, like, I like this movie a lot and it's pretty entertaining too, so if you have not, and it, it, the, the Blu-ray conversion, it looks pretty good too, so if you have not seen this movie, please watch this. Another classic horror film I got was The Exorcist, the first one. I've not seen the sequels, and this is all I know. And this is one of those movies that, you know, I just had to had to get on Blu-ray just to have these notes. It's a very classic film, and I watched this younger, and it scared the hell out of me. And it's a little scared, well, it doesn't scare me, but I actually live in, um, I actually live in Maryland, which is near Washington, D.C., and if you go to Georgetown in Virginia, you will see The Exorcist stairs. But overall, yeah, classic film. Had to get on Blu-ray, and this came in a little booklet with um, Franklin, little booklet with scenes and stuff and how the movie was made. So yeah, I found this at Best Buy. You can find this at Best Buy, so. Next up is a movie that I waited a year for them to release on Blu-ray. They released it in theaters for a limited time, and then they released it on DVD, but now on Blu-ray. That made no sense to me. Then they finally released it on Blu-ray, and that is The Iron Giant, one of Brad Bird's first films, and probably one of his best, right before he did Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, right before he did um, The Incredibles. 
yeah, like this film right here, this is a very underrated and underappreciated anime film. If you have not seen this film, honest to God, see this. Another, another horror film that I'm just impressed with the practical effects in this movie, and I just saw for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I liked it enough that I wanted to get on Blu-ray, and that is The Fly with Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis, just that scene alone, just watching the decline of, of Seth Brundle, that's just worth my time. Again, an another movie that I saw last year, 2015, all because of the remake. I never saw the original. Why well, did see the original when I was younger? But I just only remember bits and pieces of it. But long story short, the remake, it was okay, but didn't like it enough to buy it on Blu-ray. But the original, I liked enough to buy it on Blu-ray, and that is Poltergeist. Man, do not move to a neighborhood that used to be a cemetery. And just off that alone, that scares the shit out of me. But. Now, Steven Spielberg, he produced it, but to me and you, yeah, he directed it. <laughs> but, but no, like, this movie is classic right here. Like, this is a good movie to pop in on Halloween or just to watch anytime, really. So, and just, the, just at the very end of the movie, just the last 10 minutes alone, just how they did it, that's just fascinating. And now finally with the Disney movies I bought. Now these are straight to DVD sequels and probably straight to DVD sequels that to me I think are actually good along with um, the Aladdin sequels and pretty much all the only Disney sequels that I think are worth buying or watching. The first one is The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, which is pretty much the sequel to, Ala to um, The Lion King with um, Simba's daughter Kiara and this like the, the first Lion King, it was pretty much Hamlet. This movie is pretty much Romeo and Juliet and I think this is a very underappreciated Disney sequel right here. I do not have the Lion King one and a half, which is the Timon and Pumbaa story or whatever, but I do not have that because, I, again, I shorty when I was a kid, but nowadays it's like, nah. And finally, finally, Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas, they have this on, they only have it on DVD available, and they have it on Blu-ray, but you have to play like stupid money to buy it, and it's on Disney, um, DisneyMoviesClub.com, but it's from members only. But so until I get that, I'm gonna just have this. But this is a great holiday movie to watch. I actually watch it every ho holiday. And pretty much these two movies right here are pretty much more other Disney movies that I had on VHS cassette. But Beauty and Beast and Enchanted Christmas, I think, is a very under again, it's one of those another underappreciated Disney sequels. So yeah, if you have not seen this, watch this. So yeah, these are all the movies I went and bought during the month of October. Pretty good haul. Pretty good purchases. So yeah, have you seen any of these movies? Do you own any of these movies? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for the day. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more, check out my channel. The link is in the description below. And be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, MoviePilot, and Periscope. Peace.